Why, hello there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the rest of September 2021. Uh, in this reading, we're going to look at what's going on for you for September for the rest of the month, okay? So I have pre-shuffled the cards. Let's lay them out for you. Let's see what's going on. Uh, a few announcements, though. Number one is you guys got to be careful. Um, unfortunately, there's a bunch of scammers out there pretending to be me and other tarot readers as well. So if an account reaches out to you under my name, uh, saying, hey, do you want a reading? It's not me, guys, okay? I'm never gonna reach out to you saying, hey, do you want a reading? Okay, the only way, the only way is to click the link in the description box below to set up a personal reading, okay? So just ignore those accounts who reach out, scammers. You guys, I know you guys got your third eye open anyway, so I know you guys will be able to de detect it, you know? If someone reaches out to you in broken English saying, would you like an energy reading? Not me, guys, okay? So just be aware of that. All right, Libra, so let's just jump right into your reading here, though, for the rest of September 2021. All right, so the main card jumping out for the opportunity, we have the Lover's card, ooh, we have the Ace of Wands, ooh, and then we have the Ten of Wands, okay, for your opportunities this month. So whether or not you're in a relationship, Libra, I sense a deepening of love. For some of you, this is actually representing love for yourself, okay, and just kind of like saying, I'm worthy of love. But for the vast majority of the Libras out there, I do sense that this is someone coming in. So if you're single and you're a Libra watching this video, the Ace of Wands next to the Lover's card, hot damn, you better watch out because someone is gonna bust through your freaking door here, okay? The Ace of Wands is all about sparking love, okay? Almost like a passion, sexual energy opening up for you, okay? Now, there's an opportunity for those of you who are in a relationship as well, if you already have a lover in your life, Libra, okay, this Ace of Wands is going to deepen your love for this person. I sense a lot of good energy here. However, big however, we have the Ten of Wands here as well. This is a card of struggle, burden. You know, a lot of you guys out there are overworking yourself, Libra, so just be aware of that. I think a lot of you guys as well, if you're in a relationship, Libra, you're you may be causing a lot of unnecessary pain and strife and struggle, okay? So just be aware of that. Your opportunity is to kind of lighten the load. If you work a lot as well, maybe it's time to focus on something more fun. The Ace of Wands is about starting something new. It's honestly one of my favorite cards in the entire tarot deck. So great energy for the opportunity for the rest of September. Um, let's go ahead and clarify some of these cards before we move into the next part of your reading. Um, I want to clarify this lover's card for the Libras watching this video. What is this lover's energy about? All right, so no more feeling lonely. All right, whether you're in a relationship or you're not, you got good stuff coming your way, okay? You have an opportunity to flower. But let's see. Let's see what Spirit has to say about this lover's card. All right, let's clarify it. What's going on here? One more. Yeah, so to clarify the lover's card, we have the adventure card, all right? So this is about self-exploration, mainly moving out into the physical world, okay? This is a message for those of you who are single, okay? It's like, if you want love, if you want lovers to come into your life, it's like, the adventure, the adventure card says, get out there, okay? Go start your adventure. The only one holding you back is you here, okay? You know, there's tons of fish in the sea, as they like to say. I think a lot of you guys are kind of tied to a relationship that you've had in the past, um, I would say, you know, maybe it's time to let that go, okay? I just want to clarify this Ace of Wands as well. What is this, you know, the Ace of Wands is about like a spark, okay? So for a lot of you, I sense that you're like realizing your own competence. Like, um, you know, maybe you want to start a side project or something and you're realizing, you know, I can do it, okay? You have the celebration to clarify the Ace of Wands here, celebration, all right? So this is about dancing in the rain, um, maybe even connecting with other people for sure with the Ace of Wands, Three of Cups. You know, it's like, once again, there's tons of fish in the sea. You know, Ace of Cups to the, to the Three of, uh, Ace of Wands to the Three of Cups, rather. It's like, just get out there. It's like, there's tons of people that want to meet you. It's what I'm getting, okay? So just be aware of that. That's your opportunity uh, for this month, Libra. It's like, get out there, make friends. There's tons of love waiting for you, but... If you just sit around and, you know, you dwell on this Ten of Cups, this Ten of Wands energy of like, you know, burdens and it's all about your focus, okay? So 
the opportunity is love, all right? Um, let's look now, Libra, at your challenges. Okay, what is challenging you this month? The challenge is we have the world card, we have the six of pentacles, and we have the three of cups, once again, in this other deck, all right? So one of the main things that's coming through is a lot of you Libras out there, you guys are feeling like you're giving way more than you're receiving, especially for those of you or who are in a love relationship. But even with just like your work, you know, overworked, underpaid with this 10 of wands as well. The main thing coming through is just like, you know, the challenge this month, I would sit back, relax, and allow things to come to you this month, okay? I think a lot of you Libras out there, there's people in your life that have made you a promise. It's just what's coming through. They said, hey, I'm gonna show up here it's time to see if they're gonna or not, okay? Because the Six of Pentacles in this particular reading, you know, it is about giving yourself a gift, okay? Being nice to yourself. But mainly for some reason, the thing that's coming through is like, there's an imbalance. You know, the Libra, you guys are the deliverer of karma, right? The, the Libra is like the karma is always, you guys are workers of karma, okay? And then with this world card as well, um, I think the challenge for you guys is to realize maybe a phase of your life is over, okay? The world is all about closing, okay? It's almost like you've you've come to this precipice where you're looking at your life and you're saying, it's time for a new phase. And I think that new phase is deepening love, okay? The ace of wands, the lovers, yeah. Deepening love for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this world card, okay? What is this about for the Libras watching this video? Um, I think a lot of you guys, you're very talented, and for some reason, though, you're not doing anything with it. I can sense that, all right? There's a whole bunch of Libras out there that are very talented that are just, it's almost like your talent is being wasted right now. Let's see why that is. What is this world card about for the Libras? We have a jumper. All right, so, yeah, we have the burden card. The burden, something is burdening you, and that, that's perfectly in alignment with this Ten of Wands. Look at that, burden, burden, right next to each other, okay? So, you know, it's about lessening the load. Once again, it's like you're giving more than you're receiving this month, Libra. So I would say stop giving, you know? Especially if, you, if, you've, uh, if you've made a commitment to someone, you're always giving to them and they just never show up. It's like maybe you pull that back. Okay, because the, there is there is a, a major burden that's, and that burden is stopping you from moving out into the world, Libra. Okay, because this is energy with, with the Three of Cups uh, for the challenge. It's like you have a hard time celebrating your life. I think a lot of you guys are actually in a really good spot. And a lot of this burden, you know, it's self-imposed limitation. It's just like, it's certain agreements that you've made with other people that are preventing you from living life and enjoying it in the now, right? Because the now is all we have. So just be aware of that, Libra, you know? Um, let's clarify one more of these cards. Let's really, let's let's clarify this Six of Pentacles for you guys, all right? Um, once again, what, what it's representing to me is you guys are just giving more than you're receiving. But let's see what Spirit has to say about that. Two major shuffles. What is this about for the Libras? We have a jumper immediately, and we have the isolation card. Okay, so part of what's coming through, the isolation card is all about feeling alone, and you guys are in a tough spot, okay, because part of the reason why, Libra, you guys are giving a lot is because you still are, you're, even though you're giving more than you're getting, you're still getting something by giving. So for me, it's like with a person in your life, there's a person that you you know they're sucking your energy. They're draining your energy away. There's a person in your life that's doing that. And you know, hey, if I stop giving, if I stop giving, I'm gonna feel really alone, okay? So this person, I feel like there's someone in your life that offers you uh, like emotional support. Maybe you offer them financial support in return for some of you. And so there is this fear of like, if I stop, then I'm gonna just be alone, you know? And some of you, it's like, it's better to be with someone uh, than to be alone, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys, you may be a little bit like have codependent stuff going on here, um, but I would say don't let that stop you, right? And the main thing for the challenge is see if the person will put their money where their mouth is. Will they meet you halfway? I feel like you guys have been dealing with someone who's been saying to you, maybe it's a boss at work that's saying, hey, I'm gonna pay you this month, this much. Maybe it's your lover saying, hey, I'm gonna follow through on this commitment. For you, it's like, Stop giving, see if they can do it. All right, Libra? And then finally, 
let's look at your um, your messages from your spirit guides. What are your spirit guides saying? You have the nine of wands, okay, determination. You have the uh, you have the ten of pentacles, beautiful energy, and then you have the eight of cups. All right, so the main thing coming through from your spirit guides is it's time to really see if a situation is worth it or not. For a lot of you, this is going to have to do with a lover. And, you know, your spirit guides are saying departure. You know, this is the eight of cups is all about leaving a situation and leaving kind of a good situation, right? It gives you benefits. You're staying there. It's time to really decide once and for all this month, is it worth it for you to stay or is it worth it for you to go? It's something it can't be, you know, I wouldn't sit in this feeling of just like, uh, Oh, let's just let it happen. It's like you need to decide something, maybe reach out to this person who you've been dealing with and say, hey, I need this. This is what I need. If you can't give it to me, I have to leave. I'm sorry. I love you, but I have to leave. So don't be afraid to walk away from a certain situation is what your spirit guides are saying. A lot of you guys, once again, you're really afraid to walk away because you're going to feel alone with this isolation card. Um, there's always more fish in the sea though, okay? You can always meet more people. So just be aware of that. Don't stay in a situation that's abusive in any way, okay? And then we have the 10 of pentacles here from the message from your spirit guide. I feel like they're saying to you, um, you know, you are a walking magnet for success. The 10 of pentacles is all about building a, monop a monopoly. They're saying, um, don't be afraid to go out into the world. You know, this is a new phase. The challenge is to enter this new phase with the world card in your life, Libra. And it's like, you have a new phase of abundance waiting for you, okay, with this 10 of pentacles. So, you know, let's go ahead and clarify. I wanna clarify this eight of cups for you because this is the big one popping out to me for the Libras out there. Um, what does this eight of cups mean? All right, we're gonna do two major shuffles here. That's number one. What is this eight of cups about for the Libras out there who this is resonating with? It might take a lot for you to walk away. Yeah, so we have the flowering card. Okay, flowering. This is, uh, this is like the queen of pentacles, essentially. Um, and what it's saying to you is like, you are the queen of pentacles. Like wherever you go, Libra, you are the 10 of pentacles, you are the queen of pentacles. So it's like, realize that you are a catch is what I'm getting. The main message here is that you have value, know your worth and don't be afraid. You know, if someone isn't seeing your worth, if they're not, once again, if they're, if they're taking more than uh, they're giving, maybe it is time to walk away. Okay. So that's ultimately a decision that you guys are going to have to make. I think this ace of wands, you know, once again, I'm not just saying to leave this person. You know, that, I don't think that's what Spirit's saying because you have an opportunity to flower. You know, flowering is about deepening the love that already exists, okay? So if you have a lover in your life with this Ace of Wands and the flowering, it doesn't mean you have to leave. Maybe it just means you have to work certain things out. You have to talk it out, okay? So don't be afraid to do that this month, Libra. Um, I hope this message has helped you, Libra, and... Have a nice rest of your September. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.